Hello everyone, Bentley K here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's vlog. Today's vlog isn't actually going to be a vlog. It's going to be a makeup video so that it doesn't get in. And I was going to use some of the things that I got in that support, I mean that um, play box, my last play box. I'm going to use this primer from Becca. This, I don't remember what it was called. First Light Priming Filter. Instant Complexion Refresh. Ref <laughs> refresh. So I'm going to use this to try and get some glow going on. Oh, super, super, super liquidy. That's okay. We just want it to glow through. This is supposed to be super illuminating. And I am seeing a little bit of glow. Yeah, it's pretty glowy actually. All right, so that's what we're using for primer. I need to start a basket so that I can put this in the information box. And then we're gonna use the Glamouflage from Hard Candy. And my color is nude. I'm just going to put this all over. And I'm going to spread it out with this brush and see if any of that glow comes through because that's what we're wanting because I don't know why else they put glow in a primer if it's not going to come through it's like what's the point point? it's pretty matte now Let's go over it with the sponge. I don't want to take too much of it off. Oh. So, okay, it's a damp sponge. Hopefully it's not too damp. That's what I was doing, was trying to squeeze it out a little more. It looks good though. I do see some glow, which is good. That's what we were going for. Because this glamouflage is so good at covering although I do see my spots but I don't want to build it up because then I'll lose my glow that's okay I'm not going anywhere we're just trying this out yep I see glow I'm liking that Becca stuff all right let's go in with concealer we're going to use the born this way because it's on top Still got a little primer on me. Whoops, I put that away and that away. I'm just going to blend this out. I know I'm not very chatty because I'm just not. I know you guys don't believe that after last week's vlog when I talked all the time. But I can talk when I'm driving. It's different when I'm putting on makeup. Okay, I'm going to use my new It Cosmetics powder again with this for, the, for my under eye. I'm just going to put a little bit in the lid and then go in, tap it out, make sure it's out of the wrinkles and bring it down everywhere I want highlight around my nose and my lap lines smile lines, whatever these are, wrinkles. <coughs> this stuff is so fine. It's really good. I really like it, but don't breathe. Oh, 
Okay, now I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier and do the rest of my face. And I just want to put this all over and take off any of that that's left of the IT Cosmetics under my eyes and stuff. Okay, now we are going to go in with some bronzer or some contour. I'm going to use my CoverGirl Vitalist. This is actually a um, powder foundation, but I'm going to use it as a contour. And it's in Buff Beige. I like to make my nose look shorter. And thinner. And then I want my lip to look a little bigger. So I put a little bit under here. And then I take this brush. This is a Japanese brush. That's it for that. Now we're going to go in with our show you Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze. Just kind of put it above that contour and then all the way across the forehead. This is so forgiving, this bronzer, that I can pretty much put it wherever I want, which is pretty much everywhere. Especially when I have like um, a foundation that's too light. This is my savior. Okay, now we're going to go in with our Benefit Bronzer, Dallas. It's a, actually a blush, but I really like this. It's got just enough glow and just enough pink, and it's just dusty enough. It kind of makes you just look like you've been out in the sun on the range. Getting a suntan with a little bit of burn. Only you don't have to go in the sun to do it. And now we're going to take our highlighter and I'm going to use my Tarte Pro Glow Palette. And I'm going to use this guy right here. And it's called Strobe. I love this. It's so fine. It doesn't accentuate my wrinkles. And that's a good thing. Then I'm going to take my dual fiber one and just kind of blend everything together. Make it look real. That's it for the face. Maybe the Violet Boss palette will do it. Yep, there's enough pinks in there. Okay, I'm going to go in first with my Essence I Love Color Intensifying Eye Base. And I'm going to go in with my sponge. Sure, there's no wrinkles. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to go in to Thanks a Latte right here, this white colored one. And it is just that a white colored uh, matte. Now I'm going to go into Bestie, right? Right, no. Right there, the second one, right there. And that's going to be our 
transition color. I'm just going to put that in the crease and then pull it up. Now I'm going to go in with something darker, maybe wine and dine. Yeah, that's the one we're going to go in with. It's kind of almost red, it's so pink. And we're just going to put that in the crease and the outer corner. Okay, I don't know when it stopped recording, but I had to take off all that eyeshadow. It was horrible. So, we're going to go in and try and save this look. I couldn't save that. I tried. It was not happening. I think I'm just going to go in with some ploof and just tap it on there. Ploop is the color. It's the, in the Violet Boss palette. It's kind of a really pale pink, shiny. That uh, stuff I got from Ulta, I couldn't see it at all. So, but I can save this. You know me. I can save anything. I'll just go in here and blend those a little bit. That's enough of that. Yeah, this, I wouldn't use it again. We'll throw it in the give it away box. One of my granddaughters will love it. Uh, I'm going to go in with my... Maybelline pencil and I'm going to push line and then I'm going to smudge it on the top. That's my chosen way to do this, to do my liner right now. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio and I am push lining which means you put your little finger on your eyelid and you push and your eyelid kind of turns up so you can get your pencil in between your lashes. Sometimes you just write on your finger. And then I'm going to go in on the top and just add a small line that I'm going to smudge right up against the lash line. And then I always make it a little thicker on the outer corner so that when I smudge it, I can pull it up a little bit and not really make a wing, but just lift that corner of the eye. Then I'm going to go in with my flat brush and smudge that out. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to add some lash paint. 
Paradise. To my lashes. I'm going to curl them real quick and then add some Lash Paradise. This is why I never do this on camera because I really do make a mess. And then I just go back in with a Q-tip. And you guys never have to see that. But since this is a get ready with me, I'm going to let you see it. And then I'm going to go back in with a U-dip. And I don't like Lash Paradise on my lower lash, so I use a different one. Now I go in with my Lash Boss from Laura Geller because it has a better brush. See the brush? It has this nice soft side for the lower lashes. And I just do that real quick. And that's that. Just let those dry and I can clean them up a little bit. So I'm going to use my um, Catrice Brow Stylus. And I just draw them in there. Really no special way to do it. Better to have a sharper pencil than I have. But I just didn't want to take the time. Then I just take this, brush that off. Now we need some setting spray. We will use our Morphe setting spray since we have a glowy primer. And I'll push it in so it doesn't make any wrinkles. Appear out of nowhere. Looks good. And then some lipstick and I'm going to use that lip glossy thing this little thing that I got in my Sephora play box because it's pink I think that's yeah, pink It's actually got more pigment than I thought when I put it on my hand. It's pretty. Okay, we're done. So 
so that's it for this week's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And I will see you in my next video. Stay cool.